Hey Psych2Go fam, thank you so much for all the love and support that you've given us. Here at Psych2Go, our mission is to make content on mental health and self-help more accessible to everyone. And you really help us do that. So thanks again. Now, let's continue. Are you crushing on someone right now? Having a crush feels like you're living in a state of euphoria. However, these feelings become less intense over time and soon enough, you might even feel like you're over your crush. But sometimes it persists over time and it may start to interfere with your life. So how do you know if these feelings are not love, but actually obsession? Here are seven signs that you might be obsessed with your crush. Number one, you can't stop thinking about them. Do you usually spend all your time thinking about them continuously? Are they the first thought in your mind when you wake up and the last one when you go to sleep? If you find yourself thinking about them so much that you can't pay attention to other important aspects of your life and anything remotely associated with them reminds you of them, then this is a sign that you might be obsessed with your crush. Two, you go to great lengths to win your crush's approval. Do you try to take part in all those activities or behaviors that your crush engages in just to win their approval? Like you might not be a party person, but because your crush likes to party, you try to do the same, even if it's something that you don't really enjoy yourself. You also try to change something about yourself to feel appreciated by your crush. It's seen that young adults go to lengths to change their appearance in order to make their crush like them. Three, you constantly analyze your interactions with them. When you meet your crush, do you notice all their behavioral cues to figure out if they like you? Do you often replay these interactions with them in your head? Sometimes you even rehearse events that are yet to occur with your crush. Oftentimes, you imagine scenarios where your crush is reciprocating your feelings. These events make you hopeful that your crush might like you and may wanna be with you. In some extreme cases, people might keep tally of these interactions and behavioral cues. Four, you get extremely self-conscious around your crush. When your crush comes towards you, you feel extremely self-conscious. It can sometimes happen even in the imagined presence of your crush. You feel shy to the extent of feeling clumsy and awkward, and sometimes you might stutter in the presence of your crush. Admitting your feelings for them, even to yourself, might feel embarrassing. Five, you feel moody because of your crush. Does your mood for the whole day depend upon your crush? If they say hi to you or help you with your work or behave friendly with you, then you might take this interest they're showing you as a sign that they might like you. This leads you to feel very ecstatic, as if you're on cloud nine. But on the days when they don't notice you or don't take your calls or seem distant, it might make you feel awful or even heartbroken. Number six, you feel out of touch with your life. When you're constantly thinking about someone, most of your attention and energy is wasted on them. This gives you very little or no time to think about any other thing in your life. Your goals, career plans, hobbies, family, and friends take a back seat. You might feel like everything is out of control and that you're not the same person you used to be. Because even when you decide to let go of your feelings for them, your life somehow feels empty. And number seven, when you picture them, you actually crave emotional intimacy. When you picture your crush with you, you think more about having an emotional connection with them rather than physical intimacy. Your fantasy with them is usually made up of long night walks, holding each other's hands, kissing on the forehead, or talking for hours while sitting under a blanket of stars. And if you picture being with them physically, it makes you feel as if you're being intrusive and disrespectful to them. Having your crush like you back is a wonderful feeling. But if someone doesn't feel the same way about you as you feel about them, letting them go is the only option. It's way better to be with someone we feel comfortable around than being with someone who makes you feel unwanted and inadequate. Do you relate to any of these signs above? Have you noticed these signs in those around you? Can you think of some ways to get over such obsessions? You deserve a healthy relationship, one that empowers you to be more and to grow as a human being, being the best version of yourself so that you can attract the right person for you. If you're currently obsessing over someone and know that it's unhealthy and you need someone to talk to discreetly, you can try working with Regain. Regain is an online professional counseling service who we've partnered with. 
They will match you up with the right relationship counselor and you can cancel at any time or switch your helpers. The link will be in the description below. Use that link to help out Psych2Go too if you choose to use their service. If you found this video helpful, be sure to share it with someone who might find it helpful as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.